Imagination a trip for me and you. Imagination station, our ticket gives a clue. Look, the train is coming. It's almost here. Imagination station, everybody cheer. Imagination station, who knows what we will see? Imagination station, jump aboard and follow me. We're going on a mystery train to who knows where. Imagination station, I can't wait to see you there. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Imagination Station. And hello again, if I've already seen you this morning. I thought some of you might have gone out bird watching. I wasn't sure if anyone would be here. Those of you that joined the bird watching live, thanks for coming along to that. What a lot of fun we had. But now, time for even more fun. Whoa, what an action packed morning we're having. So let's find out who's come to play today at Imagination Station. Should we do our welcome rhyme? In this live lesson, anything goes. Where we'll end up, nobody knows. Explore new places. What will we see? A magical train ride for you and me. Ready? Steady. What do you say? Who's coming on our train ride today? First in was Eleanor today. You were fast this morning. A big welcome to you, Eleanor. And good morning from Ollie. And hi, Matthew. Hello, Willow and Caden. Good morning, Molly, Isla, Finley and Alora. Hello. Who else is here? Jaden. And hello, Rose again. And hi, Edith and Ada. Alex. Jenna, Simeon and Ezra. Hello Eski, hello Taryn and hello Jamie, Isaac and Obi. Hello Killian. Rose, you made two bird feeders in yogurt pots. Wow, you were quick. Well done you. Hello Maya, it's lovely to see you. Zoe and Mum are here. Uh, uh, Rose is holding her toy beaver. Are oh, you Rose? Ooh. I wonder if that's, a, are you trying to give everyone a clue for what our adventure might be about today? <laughs> Zoe and mum are here. Hello from Ivy. Hi, Fred. And hello, Piara. Hello, everybody. Hello, Aurora. I hope I've included everyone. But I know lots of you don't watch live, you watch later on. So this is a special hello to you too. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Erin. Hello, Rosa. Right, shall we get started? I'm feeling quite energetic this morning, are you? Yeah, shall we do our warm up? Can you remember all of the moves? Oh, and we've got more to add on today. We start with our penguin dives. I want to see your most unique, incredible, beautiful, wonderful penguin dive, please. So jump up and find yourself a nice space. Make sure you're not going to crash into anything. And let me see your penguin dive. Well done. We'll do a few of those penguins. And then we'll do some penguin jumps to warm up on the snow. It must be cold getting out of that water and then drying off on the snow. Let me see your penguin jumps, everyone. Oh, time to check on our penguin chicks. So stretch down and have a peek one way. Stretch down and have a peek the other way. Oh, that's a lovely stretch. What a load of stretchy penguins. Well done. What's next? Then we need to count our chameleons. There's four. I want to see the biggest claps you can do. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Maybe you could add a jump on that last one. Then chameleons, let's get our tongues. We agreed last week our tongues just aren't long enough. So we're going to use our arms instead. Ready to stretch your tongue out to one side and the other side, then stretch it up, stretch it down, all the way down to the ground. Good job, everyone. Right, time for some new moves. Our new moves this week are gonna be some beavers marching to the river. So step back a little bit, marching and swinging those arms. Come on then, beavers, down to the river for a swim. Stop! You've changed your mind. March backwards. <laughs> Get those knees up. Well done. And then we'll finish 
with a little wiggle of our beaver tails. Let me see your beaver, beaver tails wiggle. Wiggle them one way and wiggle them the other. I think we're ready, guys, for our warm-up dance. Shall we try it with some music? Right, get ready to boogie. Get ready for the amazing animals warm-up dance. Let's dive, penguins. And one more big dive, splash. Ready to warm up in the snow. Let me see your penguin jump. Check on your penguin chicks. Stretch to the side and change sides. Change again and one more stretch. We're off to the rainforest. Count the chameleons. Big claps, everyone. One, two, three, four. Now stretch out your chameleon tongue to the right, to the left, up and down. Let's march to the river, beavers. Swing those arms. Change your mind, march backwards. Okay, time to wiggle those beaver tails. We're ready to play. Oh, I'm still wiggling, are you? <laughs> well done, everyone. Right, I feel warmed up and ready for action. Oh, but where's the action happening today? Where are we going on our train ride? What are we going to find in our storybook? What are we going to see out of the window? It's time to find out which train we should be catching. So let's start with our riddle. Oh my goodness, it's a long one. Let's have a look. Start at two. Oh, platform two. Okay, then add nine. Make sure you find the train on time. And don't forget to take away four, then climb aboard and shut the door. Then we've got to take away four. Oh gosh. It is a long rhyme today, but I know we can do it. Come on then, guys. Let's have a look. The first part of that riddle. Start at two, then add nine. Make sure you find the train on time. Right. Start at two, then add nine. Right. There's all our platform numbers. Find the number two and then add nine. So we're going to start on two. And we're going to count along the platform all the way up the line. We're going to count nine times. Right, ready to count it? We're going to count one. You can bounce your finger along that dotted line if you like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two, add nine is 11. Platform 11. Oh, brilliant. Oh, but I forgot the second part of the rhyme. It's not platform 11. We're not finishing there. Then it said, don't forget to take away four, then climb aboard and shut the door. Take away four. So we're on 11 and we need to take away four. We're going to go back the other way. Right. Ready to count? One, two, three, four. Which number have we landed on? Yeah, well done. So 11, take away the four, equals seven. It's platform seven. We did it. Woo! Well done, us. Oh, I thought that was going to be a really tricky one, everyone. Thanks for helping me. Did you get work it out? Well done. It's ticket time. And there's all our lovely tickets for this term's imagination station. Remember, the link to download these is below the video. So where are we up to this week? Aha, here's our picture clues. We've got a picture of a, hmm, a river. What are all those sticks doing in the middle of it? Has someone tried to build a bridge? Maybe that someone was that animal there. Do you recognize it? Yes, a beaver. The adventure is Billy Beaver learns to swim. Oh, exciting. Oh, well, are you good at swimming? How many of you have had a go at swimming? Do you like it? Maybe you just like paddling your feet in the water. Or do you go right under the water? Do you jump in? Do you dive in? 
Oh, I reckon we might have some swimmers here. Let's find out about Billy Beaver and why he needs to learn how to swim. Right, we need to hold our tickets. It's time to make our wish. Ready? Hold your ticket and make a wish. The train doors open with a swish. A ride on a train. Oh, what a treat. Let's step aboard and find our seat. On every seat, there is a book. Here's our seat. Let's take a look. And here's our book for today. Oh, I can't wait to read all about Billy Beaver. See what he's been up to. Billy was a beaver. Billy was a very brilliant beaver. He was brilliant at chewing logs. He was brilliant at building dams. He was brilliant at making friends too. But there was one thing that Billy wasn't brilliant at. Swimming. Every time his beaver family suggested going for a swim, Billy got too scared. Oh, I've got to go and brush my teeth, he'd say. Or, I've got to go and clean my tail. And off he would scamper. Come on, Billy, his family called. The water's lovely. I've got to examine this tree very carefully, said Billy, hiding on the river bank. I know what you need said his friend, Heron, a swimming lesson. No, a diving lesson. Head first into the water, off you go. Uh, no, Heron, said Frog. Billy needs a swimming lesson. Push, glide and kick those legs. Sorry, said Billy. I can't do any of that. I've got to go and eat my breakfast. And he ran away quickly. Oh no, Billy Woss doesn't even want to get his feet wet. The next morning, Frog suggested they start with something small. How about just a paddle in a puddle? asked Frog. Just dip your toes in, he said, jumping into the puddle himself. But just as Billy was about to, he suddenly remembered something. I have to go and organise some logs. Sorry, Frog, I'm just too scared. I mean, I'm just too busy. Heron suggested sitting by a pond and just dangling his legs in. Sorry, Heron, I don't like water. Uh, uh, no, I mean, I mean, um, I'm very busy. I've got to go and build a dam. Lots to do, he said as he ran away. Heron and Frog went to see Billy. This is getting ridiculous, they said. There's nothing to be worried about, Billy. Give it a try. I'm sure you'll be a great swimmer, said Heron. Billy finally agreed to have one more try. Tomorrow morning, Billy was going to have his first swimming lesson. But when morning arrived, Heron and Frog went to pick up Billy. He was still fast asleep. Or was he? Billy opened half an eye, hoping they wouldn't notice he was pretending. He was just too scared to learn to swim. He sighed and let out a big pretend snore. <sighs> hoping his friends would leave. Oh dear. Poor Billy. Let's see what happens to... They've done it again. Well, whoever leaves these lovely storybooks for us is not very good at writing endings. No end to the story. That doesn't mean the story ends there. Shall we do our storybook rhyme? You ready? Hands together. Open your books. Maybe stories don't have to live on a page. Let's bring this story down to our stage. We'll act out an ending. We'll try something new. So what happens next is up to you. It's up to you. And what will happen next in this story? Pilly's in a right pickle, isn't he? 
he really doesn't want to go swimming. Hmm. But Heron and Frog, well, they seem to think that they can help him learn. And what about all his beaver family? They love swimming. But maybe Billy just isn't ready. He keeps finding excuses, doesn't he? Have you ever done that? Hmm, yeah, if there's something I really don't want to do, I might find something else to do instead. Oh, this is going to be a tricky one. Thank goodness you're here to help. While you have a think about what might happen next, let's have a listen to our storybook song. The problem with our storybook, that's where it all goes wrong. The problem with our storybook is why we sing this song. They always start off great as we all listen along. But when we turn the final page, the ending is gone. The final page is missing, all the children sighed. But the very best adventures are the ones we hold inside. So share your magical ideas, these stories shouldn't hide. Just close your eyes and daydream, you can travel far and wide. Tell your story loud and proud with all the highs and lows Or tell your idea quietly, see where your story goes The more we play and think and share, the more the story grows You've got imagination from your head down to your toes Yes, you're bursting with ideas from your head down to your toes Well, you are bursting with ideas again today. Thank you for all your story ideas in the comments. Shall we have a look at some? Right. Okay, here's an idea from Jaden. The frog wakes him up and Billy says, fine, I'll try to do it. The frog says to dip your legs in first and then go in carefully. And the beaver does exactly that. And now... He's happy that he can swim and not afraid of water anymore. Oh, Jaden, great idea. Well, yes, he took things really slowly. Good thinking. Here's Alex's idea. Billy remembered what he said yesterday and put his toe into the water. He decided he quite liked it and decided to try and learn to swim. Oh, great idea, Alex. Yeah, sometimes it's just taking that first little step. Well, not even a step, a toe. <laughs> Isaac's idea is that the friends stomp on him to wake him up. Oh, my goodness. Imagine waking up with a frog jumping on top of you. Ooh, that would definitely wake me up, Isaac. <laughs> he was brave and did the swimming lessons. And because he learned to swim, he was able to go swimming with his family at the seaside. Oh, well, he was super brave in your story, Isaac. I wonder if any of you have ever been really brave. Fred says a robot came from the moon. What? Fred? This sounds exciting. And he builds a clone of Billy, which practices and practices until it can swim. And then Billy copies it. And then he can swim for himself. And he sees that it's not scary after all. Oh, maybe he just needed another beaver to show him how to do it. Yeah, great thinking, Fred. I love that extra character you added too. Asher has got an idea this morning. He thinks that the beaver wakes up and tells him, tells them that he was pretending because he was just a bit too scared. Well, it's good to be honest, Asher. Yeah, good idea. He tells the people driving, diving, sorry, he tells the people diving and the people say don't be scared we will be here to help you the end oh asha fantastic so sometimes just being honest and saying how you really feel well that's the best thing to do molly thinks that billy the beaver was sleeping one night his dam broke and he fell into the water oh no molly he had a dream he was swimming but he was actually sleep swimming and he woke up to see that he was swimming and he was no longer scared. Oh, brilliant, Molly. Whew. I was a bit scared for a minute there. I love that idea. He kind of learnt to do it without thinking about it. Willow says, 
Billy gets up and says, sorry, guys, I'm just too scared. His friends support him and he jumps into the water and he loves it. Oh, Willow, thank you for sharing that idea. Again, he was just really honest with his friends. I don't think he needed all those excuses like I've got to brush my teeth. I've got to chew some logs. If they're his friends, he should be able to be honest with them. Eleanor's in with her idea and she says they realise that Billy is not asleep and they pop him on the heron's back. Aha, uh -huh. the heron wades into the water to help him swim. Then, bring a fairy appears and gives him, wait for this, a swimming badge. Oh, well done, Billy Beaver. <laughs> Fantastic idea, Eleanor. Rose thinks another frog came and she wasn't just any old frog, guys. She was the queen of the frogs. <gasps> nice idea, Rose. And she said, this is a big pool we have found without any big bugs. The beaver stepped his tail, uh, the beaver stepped in, in and stepped his tail in, pulled it out again, and then whoo, he jumped in. Oh, he dipped his tail to check the water. Good thinking. Oh, so maybe he was just scared of all the big bugs that might be in the water. Interesting idea. Well done, Rose. Ollie says a frog came. Uh, frog says, oh, I, I'm having trouble reading today. <laughs> Ollie says, frog says to Billy, wake up. And Heron says, I know what we'll do. We can put him in the water while he's asleep. And then when Billy wakes up, he'll start to swim. Oh, I hope your idea worked, Ollie. That was a risky idea from Heron. Well, I'm sure his friends were there to help him, remind him how to swim. Here's Priya's idea. Billy shares with his friends what's wrong and then they forgive him. Oh, phew. Thanks, Priya. Well, yeah, his friends understood why he was telling little lies and why he was finding excuses. Zoe thinks that they both tell him to wake up and then they tell him just to try. And he does try and he realises he likes it. Then he swims with his family. Oh, what a lovely ending, Zoe. I can just imagine that. All of the beavers all diving and splashing and swimming together. Lovely, Zoe. Here's another idea. A red husky named Jenna and a wolf named Bolto come to teach him to swim. Oh, Angelina, love those names. Brilliant idea. Thanks, Angeline. And Esky's got an idea too. He tried to go back to sleep, but then he accidentally did a huge snore. Right, we're going to need a sound effect for that. Let me hear your huge snore, guys. Let me hear it. Whoa! Is that how you normally sleep? That's very noisy. <laughs> he tried to go back to sleep, but then accidentally did a huge snore and it woke, it woke himself up. Then Heron and Frog said, come on, it's time for your swimming lesson. You're late. He said, I just, and then sighed, oh, I'm just afraid of the water. Heron encouraged him to try. Beaver dipped his toes in, had a swim. And with the help of his friends, he'd overcome his fears. Esky, that is a great idea. I love how you thought of what the different characters said. Well done. Elijah's in with an idea. Well done, Elijah. Billy says, I'll get there on my own time. Yeah, you'll do it in your own time, Billy. There's no rush for anything, is there? Well done, Elijah. I'm glad somebody said that, actually. That's a good idea and good thinking. Well done. There isn't a big rush to learn all these things in one go. Caden says, Billy and his friends build a boat. Oh, Caden, cool idea. With all the logs and they sail on the water. Billy tries jumping into the water. Oh, great. Hey, I can't wait to see all of these pictures, guys. Caden, your, your idea will look great. I'll get to see a big boat. Ada says that the beaver tells Heron and Frog he is scared. So they try to swim in the mud instead of the water. Oh, good thinking, Ada. Then they try oil. And then finally, he was brave enough to dive in the water. Thanks for your idea, Ada. Isla thinks that the friends stayed and hid behind the dam. 
Billy woke up and walked out of the dam to see his friends. He went to the river. He dipped his feet into the water. Then his friends jumped out from behind the dam and said, well done. A tiger also came by and said, well done, Billy, you faced your fear. Oh, even the tigers were supporting him. I love it. Nice idea, Isla. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Lily. Uh, Lily was crying. She didn't know what happened and she didn't know what happened in the story. Oh, no, Lily. Are you OK now? <laughs> Can we help her? Oh, Lily, should we recap, Lily, what happened in the story? I think that's what you need. I think from reading that. So Lily, what had happened was there was a beaver called Billy and he was much too scared to swim. He didn't even want to dip his tail or his toe in the water. And he had two friends, Heron and Frog. Now they tried their best to help him learn to swim. But every time they suggested a little paddle in a pond or a little splash in a puddle, Billy found a reason not to and ran away. He found an excuse. He said, oh, I've got to go and brush my teeth or I've got to go and chew up some logs or have my tea. So Billy felt quite sad about this because all his family could swim and all the other beavers wanted them, him to join them. Then right at the end of the story, where your ideas take over, then Billy was pretending to be asleep so he didn't have to do his swimming lesson. And that's where your ideas took over. I hope that's caught you up, Lily. Oh, that must have been frustrating, not knowing the start. Aurora thinks that she can get some magic swimming shoes. I want some of those, Aurora. They sound brilliant. Magic swimming shoes that help him learn to swim. Nice idea. Simeon thinks James the Ice Dragon gently wakes Billy up. And he says, Billy, I don't know how an ice dragon talks, so I'll do this voice. Billy, I know you are worried, but there is nothing to be scared of. Is that a nice dragon voice? Maybe. Um, have a go. See if you like it. There's nothing to lose and I'll be here to help you. Billy, with the strength of his friends, decided to just go for it. He dived in and he realised just how much fun the water is. He gave James the Ice Dragon a great big cuddle and played the rest of the day with his beaver friends. Simeon, awesome idea. I did not think we'd have an ice dragon in this story. What a surprise. Maya thinks a robot beaver comes from the moon. Is that where they live, Maya? A robot beaver comes from the moon and he wishes for be and he has some wishes for the beaver. Oh, magic wishes. Beaver wishes for some swimming lessons. Oh, top idea, Maya. Thank you. And they keep coming, these story endings. Obi's idea was Super Swimmer, the superhero, came down from the planet Blue and taught him to swim. Superhero Swimmer flew back to his planet. and Billy was happy he could swim. Obi, awesome idea this morning. These imaginations are on fire this morning. Wow, well done, guys. Also, whilst the beaver was sleeping, the heron and the frog put him in the water asleep. An extra idea. Love it. Ivy says, Billy the beaver jumped into the water and he wasn't scared in, anymore. In fact, he was really brave. That was a big, brave step he took, wasn't it? To go for it. Lily, you've got your idea. Well done. She says, he really tries to swim and he managed it. Oh, have you ever had to really try hard at something and then finally you manage it? Oh, I remember I, well, I do really like swimming, but I do remember learning to dive into the water. Oh, it took me so long to learn how to do it and a lot of practice. Uh, finally, I managed it. Maybe there's something that you get frustrated about because you want to do it but you just have to practice and wait a little bit longer and try hard. Well done. Thanks for your idea, Lily. Edith says that Billy was asleep when his dam broke and he was floating towards the waterfall. But a fairy came. Ah, extra character, Edith. I love it. And rescued him just before he fell. Thanks for your idea, Edith. Um, Alu the wolf 
and three of them are from the movie. Oh, thanks. Alu the wolf. Oh, they're all from a movie. Brilliant. Yeah, cool shoes. I agree. The swimming shoes is a great idea, isn't it? Erin thinks that the heron and the frog wake Billy up and Billy tells them he's scared. So heron and frog say, look at your family. If they can do it, so can you. And he trusted his family that the water was safe. He jumped in, started swimming. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad Lily's all better now. You put your idea in, Lily. Thumbs up. Well done. Uh, lots on lots. I'm just checking. I haven't missed anyone's idea. <gasps> lots of lovely, lovely ideas. Oh, Ivy, you know just how Billy Beaver feels because you can't swim either. That's OK, Ivy. I think all the advice we've had from our friends today is really helpful, isn't it? You can just do it in your own time and with a little bit of help and take things slowly. That's, what I think, what Billy learned, wasn't it? Oh, what was your favourite story idea? We had quite a few, didn't we? I did like the magic swimming shoes and I love the ice dragon too. And the robot beaver. Was it the robot beaver? I think it was. Oh, so many ideas, guys. A big well done to all of you. Do you have enough energy left after all of those imaginative ideas to do a little bit of singing? How about a little bit of rapping? Let's look at the next bit of our amazing animal song. Amazing animal song. Right then. Now, our next verse that we got to, we learned the first two last week, didn't we? This week, we've got to the reptile. We actually met this little reptile last week. Do you remember what it was? What sort of reptile was it? Let me hear it. A chameleon. We met Carla the chameleon. Let's learn this little bit, shall we? And remember to look out for the rhymes. Let's see who can shout out the rhymes when you hear them. This little reptile makes me smile. They can change colour. Just watch for a while. Don't look away and don't even blink. Look, they changed colour from green to pink. <laughs> well done. Right, well, we've got to start for our actions with a big smile. Should we point to our smiles on that first line? This little reptile makes me smile. They can change colour, just watch for a while. Should we look through our binoculars next? You can either copy my actions or you can come up with your own. This little reptile makes me smile. They can change colour, just watch for a while. Don't look away and don't even blink. Look, they change colour from green to pink. Shall we point one way Whoop. and the other way? They change colour from green to pink. Ready? Let's try it one more time. Can you tell me where that rhyme is yet? Well done if you got it. Smile and while, blink and pink. Now for an extra super Kirsty bonus point. Can you spot one more rhyme in there? Hmm, there's a bonus point to look for. This little reptile makes me smile. They can change colour, just watch for a while. Don't look away and don't even blink. Look, they changed colour from green to pink. <laughs> well done. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the next one. Du, 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 du. Oh, it's the meerkat. Oh, I don't think we've met a meerkat on our adventures yet. One little meerkat is no longer small, ready to be look out. They're feeling tall, keeping their family safe at night, staying alert until the morning light. Shall we add some actions for that? Well, in the first line, one little meerkat is no longer small. Shall we do the meerkat growing taller and taller? Make yourself nice and small. Can you grow taller? And taller, come on then, meerkats, stretch up tall. Oh, one little meerkat is no longer small, ready to be look out. They're feeling tall, shall we look out? Keeping their family safe at night, staying alert until the morning light. Shall we do big closed hands for the sun setting at night and then opening when the sun rises? Let's put it all together. Ready to grow meerkats? One little meerkat is no longer small. Ready to be look out, they're feeling tall. 
keeping their family safe at night, staying alert till the morning light. Well done, guys. That was awesome. I reckon we're ready to try the Amazing Animals song. Everybody up and let's have a little boogie, shall we? Join in with the bits that you know so far. Listen closely now He wanted to swim but he didn't know how He took a deep breath and jumped right in With the help of his friends He learned how to swim Look at a kangaroo pouch, what do you see? A little baby Joey looking back at me He's ready to jump, he jumps on and on Where is he off to? Where is he gone? So pack up your suitcase, we're off to explore Finding mammals and reptiles And so much more Follow their stories as we journey along. So join in, join in with the amazing animal song. This little reptile makes me smile. They can change colour, just watch for a while. Don't look away and don't even blink. Look, you change colour from green to pink. One little meerkat is no longer small. Ready to be looked at, they're feeling tall. Keeping their family safe through the night. Staying alert till the morning. To explore, finding mammals and reptiles, and so much more. We'll follow their stories. So join in, join in with the amazing animal song. An egg so precious left in the snow. Where did the mummy penguin go? She's diving in the water, catching fish for tea. Don't worry, daddy penguin's looking after me. So whether you swim, crawl, waddle, or fly, there's story to tell. Come on, let's try. North, south, east, west, we'll travel along. Join in with the amazing animal song. So pack up your suitcase, we're off to explore. Finding mammals and reptiles, and so much more. We'll follow their stories as we journey along. So join in, join in with the amazing animal song. Join in the amazing animal song. Woo! Were you dancing? Were you? Oh, I was having a good old boogie. Let's see. It's got to be my favourite bit of the whole week. We get to look through your train windows. And last week's story, it was a good one. We met Cara the Chameleon. And I'm really, oh, well, I was really impressed with some of these chameleon pictures. And some of you made it really difficult for me to spot that chameleon. Should we take a look? Let's see your train windows. train windows what a lovely thing that was to look through all of them I look forward to it every week so don't forget to give me a train window picture of Billy Beaver can you show me your story ending what you saw out of our train window today as we pass by the river 
Well, that's it for Imagination Station today. I hope you have a brilliant week, whatever you get up to. Look out for the bird watching posts that are coming up. Those of you that are doing the bird watch challenge, can't wait to see what you find. And I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for coming to play. Bye.